Hello, fellow crypto YouTubers who may be suicidal right now, and that's why this picture is here. I have recounted in the last couple of videos that I saw this coming. I took my own evasive action and recommended, well, I just told everybody what I was doing. Of course, we are restricted from, quote, giving anybody advice here as uh, we're not financial advisors. But essentially, I was saying, it looks to me, based on what I'm seeing in the, pa the patterns of the charts and everything else, and some other indicators, which I had mentioned, that we're headed dramatically lower. Well, we're still headed dramatically lower. And I mentioned in the other video, the last one with the woman who looks like, you know, the cartoon woman, I said, we're probably going to settle in the neighborhood of the 500 billion, but we were headed down. That, and we were our, we were at 590, roughly 540, 590, and we have dr dropped down to the four to, to the 490. Uh, let's see what it is today right now. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's go here and check out Coin Market Cap. So the, up to the minute, yeah. So we've dropped down to 460. Okay, this is beginning to look a bit. Uh, oversold. However, uh, we, based on my analysis, I'm going to go by a couple of of the majors. That's the those are the mo the market drivers to a certain extent. Um, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, obviously, and then Neo is my representative entry as an all, a very powerful, robust altcoin. So Litecoin, fortunately. And this is not the one I want to show you. This is the one. Litecoin, fortunately, is actually steadying out and finding a base. Sellers are still in control. However, I would not be shocked to see somewhat a reversal or a steady out at this price level. Okay? I'm not expecting dramatic, dramatic drop for Litecoin from here. It could happen, I suppose, but we don't have any lower to go than probably. Well, this is a, that's a one day. Let's go. Um, Sorry about that. Let's go to a one week and look at what's there. All right, we still have some dropping on a weekly basis, potentially, but on a daily basis, uh, we appear to be finding more of a bottom. On a weekly basis, we still are, the, the sellers are definitely in control. So I don't think anybody is in danger of missing out on a great rally from this point. There is more opportunity on the downside. There's more chance on the downside. <clears throat> Let's check out BTC. On a daily basis, we are, mm, we're still going, we're still, uh, sellers are still in control. We're still headed down, but we are beginning to look for a base. And that's happening relatively quickly. Let's see what we're looking at on a weekly basis. Uh, yeah, we're still heading down on a weekly basis, so we still definitely still have some. But today, we may be finding a base. On a weekly basis, we still have downward momentum. Sellers are distinctly in control, so I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't dive in huge. You might, anybody who is more of a trader and a speculator such as myself, you might consider, or I'm considering, buying in slightly at these levels. Now, Ethereum, <clears throat> on a daily basis, very serious downside still still in play very significant downside which is surprising on ethereum but ethereum had a very dramatic run-up on a weekly basis oddly enough the buyers are still pushing it but it looks like that's going to resolve to the downside here fairly shortly so the big picture for everything is there is still more downside rather the, the probability is more down than leveling out and going up now btc on a daily basis looks like it has somewhat of a leveling out happening but on a weekly basis we could still recoup we could still go down significantly farther so <clears throat> as i've mentioned <coughs> where are our support levels well ethereum has a support level coming up here fairly shortly um this this chart is not doing a very good job for me. Let's go on a daily basis and see what we have here. Yeah, we have a support level in the 700-ish range. Let's check out Neo. Neo on a this has a support level quite a bit farther down. Um, but Neo is an unusual unusual play, so to speak. It's got a much tighter support network than a lot of other coins, a lot of other projects, but. Still quite a ways down. 
the momentum is down dramatically, even though buyers are still somewhat in control, the momentum is down dramatically. So we're not at a settling point in NEO. Uh, Bitcoin, we're definitely not at a settling point. Ethereum, I've already explained. Litecoin, on a weekly basis, we are still downward. On a daily basis, however, we are finding somewhat of a base. It looks like it's about to turn towards a base. We're still negative though, okay? So the trending market that was in place with Litecoin has fallen. Support comes in right right below 100 in that area. So that's you know that's a ways down. But it looks as though we are finding somewhat of a base in Litecoin. Of all of these, Litecoin looks like it's finding a base faster than any of the other ones. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Neo all have stronger downside. So in, in terms of the entire market, the entire market has a downward bias still. Um, we did. Like my last video said, we did appear to hover a bit around the 500 and then that broke. So we are, uh, in my book, my, my estimation, we are headed lower. I know nobody wants to hear that. The, the brave souls of you who have subscribed, and I encourage anybody to subscribe or everybody to subscribe because it's not a question of me not promoting cryptocurrency or anything like that. I'm as strong a supporter of cryptocurrency as anybody, but I'm more of a supporter of us keeping our wealth and increasing it because the more wealth that we can create and some of it by trading cryptocurrencies, the more powerful our voice becomes in the world and we can impact the level of freedom. We can impact the fact that cryptocurrencies do not need to be regulated. If somebody wants to take part in them, it's a voluntary act. Nobody is <clears throat> twisting anyone's arm or anything else to take part in cryptocurrency trading. And part of that means the risk involved, also the profit and the reward. The bigger picture on cryptocurrency is that when we get involved in it, we're promoting a free market. And that's really, that's one of the main drivers for why I share, the, share my insights into the market. And I want everybody to make as much money as possible and to avoid losing money too. That's step number one. So even those of us who have been in the market for a while are possibly going red in some of our trades. I know I am red in several of my trades that I've made recently. My earlier trades, I already bounced out of, so I'm not, I'm not in the red. But some of my, my recent ones are in the red. And I don't mind. I knew going into them that I, I'd potentially be in the red, so not, not, not that big of a deal. But I did also go, go to ground, so to speak, and, and pull some funds out of the market. But the point of it is, is that we are, Litecoin is, in my opinion right now, the safest of all the major vehicles. If you're going to stay in the crypto market, Bitcoin, Ethereum, NEO, and of course I could analyze all the other coins if I wanted to, but I would say they'd probably say the same thing, except for a few ones that seem to be getting a bit of a bounce. Some, some news still has impact. The big picture is the market is going to trend down still. It has massive support in the level of the $200 billion range. We may get there. I don't think we will. I think we're already exhibiting some signs of finding some support, but we definitely have ways to go down farther. Um, I have, if I took a, let's go to cryptocurrency and take a look at this chart, and then I will pick an, pick an area where I think we might settle out for all those of us. Okay, yeah, dramatic waterfall decline, not all that surprising. Okay, three months doesn't explain it, so we've already lost our three, one month. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we've blown by that. We are, this is in the $400 billion range. You know, this is an interesting uptrend, and I'll tell you why I say that. Because it's not as dramatic as some of these. The slope is much lower. So I would not expect us, well, we've already, yeah, we haven't quite hit that low yet. But this is, this is a support area. I wouldn't be surprised if we, we will drop lower because, as I said, the major, mar, the major, major coins or projects are, their, their charts all say that they have got more downside momentum than stabilization other than Litecoin. But I would say in this area, which is probably, let's call it the 380, so that's still a ways down. Uh, that looks like a fairly strong support area there. And this run-up here was nowhere near as dramatic as these. You notice these, these are really steeply sloping run-ups. And that means that relatively weaker hands were buying in. Here, stronger hands were buying in. You can see that. Definitely stronger hands. 
While it's possible we could get down here, I'm picking this area right here as our resting point for a period of time. So, and that would match with what I've seen on the charts. That would absolutely match with what I've seen on the charts with Ethereum and NEO and BTC and LTC. So thus far, my past couple of market prediction videos have been accurate, thankfully. Um, the, the methods that I'm using are not strictly price methods. I think price methods are weak and lagging. You have to read the tea leaves in order to predict the future with price methods. I use methods that include volume and momentum, which, pre, which uh, basically presage or predict where price will go. That's, that's how my method works. One of the aspects I use, one of the methods I use, that enables me to determine where is the crowd moving. Because the crowd has to move first before the crowd will then move the price. If we only look at price, that's an after effect of the crowd having been there or having left. That makes, that makes sense. So my indicators use volume and momentum along with price to determine where we're going. And as I've said, just a real quick summary, summary BTC looks continued weakness. Uh, oh, that's actually Litecoin. Oh, I just, I guess I just nixed BTC. I don't know why that happened. Let's take a look at BTC. Because BTC, of course, is still one of the big drivers and makes all the news. And I'm doing, I decided to analyze Ethereum, BTC, and LTC all in USD and do NEO in BTC. Um, relative strength wise, NEO has actually lost strength relative to BTC, which is surprising me. But okay, we are beginning to find a little bit of a base on a daily, daily chart, but on a weekly chart, we are not, so as far as I recall. Yeah, we're still headed down the sellers are still in control so that's that's btc ethereum yeah still deeply deeply sellers in control we are not really finding a base yet it could change but it doesn't look as though it is at this point and ltc is definitely and, and it's changed a little bit Def, ltc is definitely beginning to find a base so that's nice it's not anywhere near i mean i wouldn't expect dramatic down moves on ltc today on a weekly basis ltc is still headed down and go back to NEO on a daily basis. NEO relative to Bitcoin is losing ground. Not a surprise. On a, on a weekly basis, the, the buyers are still in control. So NEO, when it rebounds, will more than likely rebound very, very aggressively. So I'm in NEO. I bought NEO. I'm, I'm, my position is losing now, but that's fine. I knew it would be. So that's, that's the update for today. I want to make sure that I've delivered some value so that everybody can engage in the market with realistic expectations. Once again, just I have to do this. Coinpicker.us is my site. Thankfully, I've gotten a lot more subscribers. I'm really thrilled about that because then, then I can share the kind of insights that will help people avoid losing money and make money take the best advantage of the market. I mean, that's my plan. Click on this. Click to get the top to, uh, top list of uh, 10 coins predicted to rise rapidly where I use my custom algorithm for that. And I mean, even today, look at this. Even today, we're seeing, you know, it's interesting because it goes deep into the market and finds coins. Uh, it Verge is having an up, up moment right now. Uh, BTCD Stratus versus uh, uh, made safe so there's still some good projects out there emc ptc still some, uh, rcn i don't even know what rcn is um but there's still some good projects out there that are having having you know good moves so that's that's what this indicators uh, that's what this algorithm does finds those for us so sign up there also subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if you would if you like what you're hearing and i will talk with you tomorrow